Hello, people viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I review Stop Lot. This is the third Monday movie featuring Damien Wayne. And this one has a bad title. What does it mean? Bad on Bad Lord, I don't really get what it calls it that. Like anything to call it a Bad Family Unite or something. But it's more about the, the like the like it's more about Robin, Nightwing, Batwoman, and Batwing. I'll get to him or in like later in in this book. And it just just has a little bit to do with Batman. Why call it that? Why? Anyway. After Batman and Batwoman infiltrate um Electro Kusner interrogating in order to try to kill a guy that is in the uh, Black Mask's mob, uh, this person called the Heretic turns up and when Batman pushes that one out of a window into I don't know, a stream or a moat or something. The place just explodes. Uh, this is the heretic is employed by Talia Al Ghul, and and uh, after that, Batman's been missed about two weeks. And uh, that just causes uh, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, to become Batman, so the police and the uh, uh, citizens of Gotham are worried about. That city or think about it, dead or something. Which he doesn't like because he didn't know Dick Grayson at the time they became Nightwing. He just seemed so angry at Bruce, just thinking that he didn't want to be like him or get a Bruce's shadow. Probably he needs to have an identity crisis or being a whiner. And this also, uh, so Damien in uh, the a monast in, a, in a monastery from the last movie. I'm sorry, he doesn't say his head. And had technology, even though the most banned technology, but I don't really know. And he came back as well when he found out that uh, Batman is missing, and when uh, they're fighting the uh, Black Mask and his uh, group, he immediately knows that the Batman that there is a uh, he Nightwing. I think he, he could do Red job as Batman, and I kind of agree. He is Bruce's son, after all. And we'll get the backstory of uh, that uh, woman in this uh, name. Her name is Kate something, and her father is uh, connected to the military. I can't really remember what that be. Does for a few years prior before she became that woman, she, her twin sister, and her mother were captured and uh, held for ransom, and the people that captured killed the twin and her mother. And like a lot of people that suffer from post traumatic stress or survivor's guilt, she just couldn't really handle it and just her life. And down the toilet after she got uh, expelled from military school. And when Batman saved her from some bad uh, punks that were giving her a hard time, she just said, uh, vowed that, uh, not that uh, Batman would not save her again or anybody else. Therefore, Batman made her into Batman in some way, like he does with all the villains. Oh yeah, and uh, the 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 attracted Wayne board Alfred made this uh, virtual uh, the face thing where he talks as Bruce Wayne in a video and it said tells the board face in the Amazon and some stuff and one of the people from the women on the board gets out and that's a bloody like bloody in it 
again, the British the enemy. And is that is that in the sign that uh, that in group and I don't know what it is. And however it looks so great in the movie, you might get knocked out and Bruce when Bruce punches him I have got many spoilers in this. Punches him unconscious when he gets uh conscious he takes out one of the guys that Talia employed and he just stops the mind control thing but and then it puts like that makes my heart brain dead. He is a badass. I didn't have to do that with he didn't have to do that with a gun. There you go. And there's another big new uh Kate when they were younger, I think. So yeah. And they think of a uh, or it's a scene of uh, him and Starfire being a couple and they just seem to get like, uh, avoiding her a bit but not like quite like, short choice. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that at all. I can't really at all. Anyway, Batwing. Now in the comic there's two Batwings. The guy from Japan and Luke Fox. Yeah, let's look at that one. This that was not an original name. There's already a Batwing and the plane. Couldn't they come up with something better? Maybe a uh, Mecha Bat Suit Batman or uh, Mecha Bat Suit or Robo Bat or something. Or Soldier Bat. Since he was uh, in the military. But... I mean, look at the good character. That is in the military and uh, wants to join up with uh, the Bat family. Help, because you know it's like being in a war, it's just like that. So, yeah. And I with the Mad Hatter that had to employ him to mind control Bruce and try to uh, get, get him to let go of his, uh, his uh, trauma of his family's death, parents' death, and also family. And uh, the heretic is just a soldier for the right here. And when Damien finds out who the heretic is, it's just shocking to him. He's a heretic, it was a grown up version of Damien and now it's not Damien from the future. He, he just explained that Rachel Ghoul has some of his DNA and used it in a soldier. A king and this grew on them and died, but the heretic was dead, uh, doesn't survive, and the heart gave him a mind. And when Dead Todd is just to let him have uh, Damon's memories, and that, uh, he just kills him. Oh my god. It just doesn't make no sense. <laughs> like in the, in the uh, events that, or the comic line, or sort of that the heretic was uh, introduced in in the comic. So it, it's kind of the same, but you have to get a mind of a baby and a girlfriend. I think it's much better, but still. It's just weird. And, and in that story, there's no more than I mean, you can hint that there are more, there's more of the heritage because they had that heritage it's yet yeah, the whole freezer full of them. And Damien dies in that in the storyline in the comic so I don't know why I didn't do that and oh yeah no oh that's the storyline is uh, the man bat ninjas from the uh some of Batman so that's where they got that for sale. Reese I don't know what that is that's <laughs> Anyway, uh, everybody thinks that Bruce is okay, and he was saying that the Batwoman and the Batwing, ugh, 
Sun join, he wants to keep the uh, the threat of Talia and everything in the family, just like him, Damien, Dick and Alfred. And then a and a week passed. Then I don't he sometimes don't say how long it's been since the time. Like I don't really know how long Damien has been in the monastery or how long uh Kay has been that one or how long uh, Luke was in, in the Ascalica, I thought, I can't really say it's been in Ascalica, I don't know, I look like a war, but whatever. Anyway, after uh, Dick and Kate uh, don't talk and her father got shooting at her, because it turned out he was conditioned or mind controlled by Tadia or Somebody, because I don't know how Tyler would have got her. And while that's happening, Bruce is introducing this uh, new uh, software to keep my world called the Watchtower. Yeah, I don't know if it's just going for this movie or this is going to continue it in the Justice League, because the Watchtower is part of the Justice League, so I, I don't know if I hope, because it was just the uh, Hall of Ju- Justice, and I don't know, that's a good idea, but, uh, Every just head off to, to, uh, South Carolina. I'd say it's a crazier, and it microphone or people, microphone Bruce, he would Dead, so bad, dead, dead, my heart to mess with Damien's mind. I possibly care about the kid for Pete's sake. Well, it's not as crazy as it was in, uh, uh, Batman International. But still! Oh, God. Oh, I will say about the fight sequences in this. Are as good as you know, as the other movies, but there is a great scene in the Sassy that has one of the great moments of any other movie. But it kind of does have a problem, and that's the the part where Tyler tells Batman to kill Dick. He puts the gun to his cheek. Damien turns up. He puts the gun at Damien. Dick is talking. That's the uh, one of Dick's uh, crowbar stick thing I see. And most and um, through the scene, it looks like it's moving over and over. Like you don't really know, or the person that animated this or put it in in sequence doesn't remember where where the bloody thing was. It makes no sense. Uh, um. Damn, Batman. So put the gun up to his chin because he thinks that he can't, that the mind control is too strong. And when you hear a gunshot, a tank, see, he shoots Talia. He didn't. And we don't see why he got shot. What, what, what he shot. Why? And Ethel's cell pack with the, with the, uh, list that the girl Girls ain't and dead. Uh, one of them had a gun and went to set it off. And they showed I didn't shoot that girl, but to Kenny, they showed it. But this they don't. They're not. Anyway. How did this get, get say after giving out that Bruce uh, could never love her? Like, he, he, like uh, it's just as. Uh, that her passing can't get, get, get him to love her, or her death, brought her Damien. I don't know if he's saying that he's gonna quit, try to get her, get him on, on her side, but, I don't know. Anyway, it's just a, escape, it's on a, it's on a, a, a plane or something, some flying vehicle. And there's somebody behind the, behind her. I think he might be there, Dick, well, I don't know, I'm going to see well, and the thing that goes 
out of control and crashes. And after that, I just go back to Casey Parman with Dr. Dad, then uh, Ray Montoya turns up, yeah, I've got nothing, they talk in the bar. And uh, she was going in, and they just talk, and then uh, they saw Lucis in the hospital, because uh, the her caretaker uh, stabbed him when they found the vaults of Batman's uh, tech. I looked his way from when I was in the Batwing suit. I also got to mention that Kate made a joke asking that Batwing was one of the right in the Batwing. That's kind of funny, but. I don't know. And then they uh, go back to Wayne Manor and Dick is talking to Sarah Fire saying that he's going back to the tower with the tension of a of Titan Tower. And Bruce is having a heart heart with Damon, saying that Talia might be dead, or he she was dead, broke his broke his dead trust with him or something. And then the bat signal is up, and everybody's gathered. And the police are chasing Penguin, and he's shooting them, and they go after him. And while that is happening, Batgirl turns up. The Barbara Gordon one, in case I'm wondering. Which is hinting that the next movie, or the next Batman movie, is going to be going to feature horror. And it is. So, uh, I get that movie, and they're done. This is a okay movie, as I said. The big, one, one of the problems is the title. I don't really get it, but... Uh, the source between the... Uh, Dick and uh, Bruce is go with him wanting to just have his own life, his own identity, and that and the way he's described uh, being raised by that man or just uh, living with him to a uh, case as being lonely is just good, even though he's trying to, even though later he's just trying to yeah uh, get him to snap out the uh, Hypnotism on my control. Like, ain't he the greatest man he ever known or something? It's just, it's just condescending. I don't know what it is, but still. And for character development, for Damien, doesn't seem as violent as he did in, a uh, um, Batman vs. Robin. But he doesn't seem to trust people. As much as he did, um, Dick points it, points out when he said that he doesn't trust that woman, and Dick said that he trusts his talent, and Robin says, shut up. She was funny. I think this might be the funniest of the three Batman films that Damien was in, but still. This was good. Anyway, I give it a five out of ten. And next film, uh, Damon joins and tries to get along with the Teen Titans. And um, I would say that it might have some problems as well. Again, the name is misleading, but I think it's better to get people to buy it. But well, overall, it'll be good. Until then, I'm the two. I'll see you there.